Here I've got the new passive half wave rectifier from CFM. As the unit is passive, it can be used not only to split the negative and positive portions of a bipolar input signal, but use two different negative and positive signals and provide a single bipolar output for a new waveform. It works with CV and also works right up through audio rate, so it can create some great custom waveforms that can be used either as an audio source or for modulation. Here I'm using braids as my main oscillator and I've got a slow LFO going into the CFM half wave rectifier. I'm sending the positive output into the braids oscillator and you can hear a rising change in the wave's modulation which then holds as the negative portion of the modulation in the half wave rectifier is taken out due to the rectification. The negative portion of the signal is on this separate negative output and that's going into another wave modulation input. So you can hear the positive part of the LFO CV is modulating one of the controls on braids while the negative portion controls the other. So we're splitting the positive and negative with this half wave rectifier. And this unit works right up to audio range, so I'll speed up the LFO. That's what I'd consider normal use for the unit, taking one signal into the bipolar input and splitting that into its positive and negative elements. But because the unit is passive, we can actually go both ways, combining a positive signal and a negative signal to create one new bipolar waveform. I'll use one LFO signal from an oscillator into the positive input and a different oscillator into the negative side and then take the new bipolar full wave output to modulate the waveform on the oscillator that you can hear. Both inputs are sine waves running at different rates. Here I'll play around with the LFO speeds. So it's not only a way to split a signal into its positive and negative portions, but also a way of combining two different waveforms to create new ones. Here I look at using one oscillator at audio rate and using different outputs with a CFM half wave rectifier to create some new waveforms. The black stackable is the bipolar output and that's what's going to my sound card. The blue stackable that's plugged into the black one is a sine wave that you can hear. Plugging the blue stackable, which is the sine wave, into the positive input, you can hear the half wave rectification of that wave. And for reference, here's the sine wave on its own again and then back into the positive input for half wave rectification, eliminating the negative portion of the signal. Here's a triangle wave from the same oscillator. That's going into the negative input, which will half wave rectify and remove the positive part of the signal. So these mix together at the bipolar output to create a new wave shape. Here's taking out the triangle wave and using a saw wave instead. and then taking out the sine wave, here's a pulse. Here's some pulse width modulation. So I'll set a sequence running, which is just some random voltages quantized, and I'll use the one VCO and change the input to create some new waveforms. An FM the oscillator that's going to pass through the rectifier as well. And moving on to two separate oscillators, here are two saw waves from two different sources so we can mix and wave shape those through the half wave rectifier. This creates a sort of weird part ring mod, part FM style sound with a rectification.
As we've got two half-wave rectifiers on the unit that are passive, so they can split a bipolar signal into positive and negative, or combine a positive signal and a negative signal to create a new bipolar waveform, I'm going to use both within this patch. I've got a sequence running into two oscillators, and I have a saw wave from my first oscillator going into the half-wave rectifier, and a pulse wave from my second oscillator, and then take the new bipolar waveform out. change the waveforms and play around changing the waves going into the positive and the negative. Even a pair of sine waves has got this nice drive and character about it. In the second half wave rectifier I'm going to take a wavetable LFO from an E355 and then use this module to cut off the negative portion and take the positive only part of that LFO to modulate my filter's cut off. So you can hear the filter rise and then hold as that negative part's cut off. I'm then going to take the negative part of this LFO into the pulse width modulation which will make the filter rise open while it's positive and then as the filter holds the pulse width modulation will change and then that will hold as the filter moves again. And here's changing the LFO rate. Now you've seen what the module does, I'm going to set up something that's a slightly more complicated sonically. I'm going to take a static sound which is just pulsing away in the background now of a steady trigger. The module creating this sound has lots of modulation inputs so it can create a wide range of sounds. I'm going to mix two different modulation sources, there's a wavetable from the XY output on the E350 and I'm also taking the Z output from an E350, so two different wavetables combining their positive and negative portions and creating a new waveform. Taking that modulation and multing it across the module which is creating the sound, we start to get some more random and complex sets of changes. I'm going to use the second half wave rectifier to combine waves. Here's a square and a saw wave from two different oscillators and they're running at different frequencies. This is something that potentially won't line up and actually repeat as we're getting different modulation based on the positive part of one signal and the negative another, but they're actually running at different rates, which creates a lot of overlap and sort of random and more complex elements to the modulation. So using the unit to combine sources has given us some really nice complex changes that seem to be more alive and fluctuating in their values and a much more developing random style of modulation. So the unit works great with both CV and audio and as you've seen you can combine or separate positive and negative CVs to create a bipolar output or take a bipolar signal and split that into its two portions, negative and positive. Check out CFM at the link in the description and hit like and subscribe for more videos on this channel every week.